Welcome! Uh, what are, we, are we actually recording? Well, this is the, this oh, is I gotta make sure board. we're recording. We're recording. This is soundboard. Yeah. We were just got done playing this fucking oh, game. Oh, God. And we weren't recording again, because I'm an idiot, and I, I keep... We sh- never double check. I, it's hot in here. I'm gonna turn the fan on. So, if some of this seems like we're retreading common ground, it's because we are... Oh no! They're gonna get in the car crash! <laughs> Here comes the car crash! Oh, oh no! Ha ha ha! They're dead now, right? They're dead, they're uh-huh. both. Oh, the f- oh, that's her water bottle! Oh, I'm gross. What do you say, Taco Bell? Uh-huh. It's not very good. Uh-uh. I mean, I liked it all right, I guess. It, it filled my stomach. Um, I played this game as a child a lot. It was a good game. I got stuck at many, many parts because I'm an idiot, and I was an idiot as a child, too. Surprise, surprise. I've never played it. As I told you, the only thing that I played that was even reminiscent of a game was on the bonus disc of Harry Potter. The, the ones where it's just like a search and find? It's just find, a little search and find. And the... And that does I, not count. Oh, that's why. I've also played part of Lego Harry Potter. Okay, Lego Harry Potter, they're okay. The Lego games are all always pretty, like, okay. They're never bad. They're just, at their worst, they're solid. So you're supposed to go, boom. Shaboom? So, something that these games kind of had a weird thing about. Until they developed, like, fighting spells, I think, in the fourth book, the games had to make up their own spells for attack. And they were pretty consistent up until, like, the fourth game. Look, I'm running. Oh god, here comes the pun. This is Eric. This is every time Eric makes a pun. Everybody just sighs. Look, it's Fucko and Greg. With their sh- Is it just too obvious? Is it too obvious I've made that joke before? Wait, is there any treasure out here that we didn't get when we played last? There's some beans. You want- you want good beans, you don't want that horrible green bean. Because those ones make you lose beans. Really? Yes. You didn't tell me that before. Well, you didn't pick up any- there weren't any green beans. You didn't encounter any. Oh, okay. Look, it's a rake. I was gonna say it's a mop for a second, but it's not. Look at that horrible potato man. Um, so when I was a child, I had Michaela play- okay, no, back it up. I had Michaela play the tutorial earlier because this game is not hard, but if you don't know the controls, it, it would be a frustrating watch. Yep. I'm just doing it now because I'm quicker and we just want to get to the part we were at. At least I can look really smart now because I'll uh, I'll already know where all the secrets are from the first time we played. Oh my god, I got both of those I got both of those dudes in one shot. Did you see that? that fucking... Put up the MLG thing. Put up the 360 no scope Harry Potter move. Please, please do that and slow it down. Okay. Okay, see this? This is something I was talking about last time. Whenever you pick up a card in this game, the card is just randomly facing a direction. Sometimes it's facing you, sometimes it's not. So you see how that one, that one was facing that wall. It was facing that way. I'm going to go pick this one up, and if I'm correct, we should be able to see its face. See? There we go. And the first time we played this, that is not how it was. It was the exact opposite. I don't get it! Why is Which this- Which means it switches every time you move up. It, that is entirely possible. I just don't know what part of the programming would do that. Because I assume when they plop the item- Maybe the item- Okay, wait. Maybe the item is spinning around in there. And then whenever you open it- It just freezes. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Some dueling. You know what's weird? Oh, I guess they do- They do set the precedent of dueling existing in the second book. Put out the title- Put out the date when the book, movie, and then game came out for this particular one. So, put out- Movie date first, then the book, then the uh, then the game. And just put them all up. Put them up. All the days. Look, I killed that fucking thing with my my hand spell. You son of a bitch. Those are my beans. I made me drop my my beans. I need my beans. Ha ah, I hit it in the stupid bubble mouth. Can you do something, you fucking washing machine? I missed. I missed him. Look, I killed it. Also, was that like a puppy print that just flew by? That Was he shooting dog feet at me? Probably. Look Look at this dangerous piece of equipment we keep around our house, Harry. I love to see that notebook in your kitchen. Look, here, eat this living, non-living meat creature that we've just constructed and gave us a simile of life. 
Yeah. Also, you look like you Let's need a chocolate frog. Nugs. What does Who that even mean? Well, what? The idea is if you took a bunch of damage, you can eat the frog and it heals you. But why does chocolate heal good? They only established that in the third book. Because, mmm, taste Did the third book came out before this game? Or did it come out at you? Put up the day, put up the dates. I wonder if we get to throw things now. Uh, no, that'd be I said the <laughs> word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleep that. And then I'm gonna bleep me saying the <laughs> word. That way they can't tell what actual word I said. So it's like, he just, what word did he say? Oh, we also missed a chest the last time we played this. Doesn't this seem like animal abuse just a little bit? Yeah. Because these things can speak English in the books. They establish that. So what do we do when they come to our garden? It's not even animal abuse. It's just abuse. It's basically if a homeless person came and lived in your garden and you beat them up and physically threw them over a wall. And it's okay in this world. The imagery, I think. Well, let's assume that in your in your yard is like this yard where there's a singular wall on one side and then just a row of bushes with very noticeable opening, openings between them. Look, we didn't open up this chest last time. See, it was all oh, worth it. I didn't know it existed. And see, the card... Okay, wait, no, because now the card is definitely facing towards the, the side that the other ones were facing. Oh, we got Gregory the Smarmy. Unctus, un I don't give a shit. You can tell I'm a true player hater. Where are them goddamn gnomes at? I wanna, I wanna pick. Uh, we're, we're not gonna be trading throws on this one because we just need to get to the part we were at. I'm like still tempted to see if we're still recording right now, and I'm going to. Oh my gosh. Are we recording right now? Number eight. We are. Yeah. Woo! Look, we got Derwin Shrimpling. Hello, Derwin. Look, I beat up that small little man. I'm gonna pick Does him up. Does anybody know where Derwin? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> he went to Shrimpling. Oh. I was trying to hit the Scarecrow. Shut up, you fucking red-haired bastard. What an asshole. You need to do better than that, you dumbass. It's like, fuck, it's like, fuck I've you. I've never done this before, excuse me. What did you call him? Fucker? <laughs> what did I call him? I called him fuck, Fucker and Gregory. Fucker and Gregory. And then their little brother, uh, R R R Raggle. Ra Raggle Fraz. Oh. When they're hiding in the bushes, you can't hit them. I hit that one though, because I hate these little, these little Jewish men. I also love how you carry it, kind of like it's dirty. Look, I'm gonna hit the scarecrow. Right. Boom! Yeah, didn't do that last time. No, either. we definitely Actually, did not. Actually, we hit it uh, five, five times. Is that yeah, seventeen yeah, times. Every lot. single time, we threw it nine 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 uh, amount, <laughs> and we got a, a billion dollars from being so good at the video game. Brilliant throw, Brilliant throw, Harold. Harold Potamus, the the rare and now defunct chicken. Of... Harold Potamus. I'm gonna try and get it over that wall so it's like got two walls between it. Oh. <laughs> I still threw him. Can't throw him. Is he just dead? Oh. I was like, is it just dead? Is Harry Potter trying to make a commentary on Jewish people coming across to our country? You must grab the Jewish people and throw them over the wall. I feel like someone out there is gonna. Okay, I should probably like pay attention and actually throw this thing. <laughs> I just heard a duck. Did you hear the duck? Yes. 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 Okay, can we go talk to Regilda Weasley now? Look at her fucking statue. Only her lips move. She's not even breathing. Six o'clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Go to bed because mommy's bored of you. <laughs> you're you're not doing work now. You're just having fun. Go to sleep. <laughs> I think Mother, we are not. Look, another chocolate, because fuck it. No, look, he's kissing the frog. She didn't make you dinner. She didn't no, she's like, here, I don't. Look, you're not my kid. I'm not going to feed you. I'm, here's I'm, a chocolate frog. Here's a chocolate frog. Okay, here's something that when I was a child, I didn't fucking know. I was like, okay, I beat the game. I beat the, the mission. Do I go over here? It's like, oh, okay, I bet we go over here. We open up this door and we go inside. And the day. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, maybe back the way we came. Nope, that doesn't work. Maybe you throw some more gnomes? Nope, that doesn't work. You have to pause, go to the pause menu, and then hit A to end the day. Otherwise, you're stuck there for all eternity. Yes, and here's the thing. It makes sense in later levels when you're actually at the castle, because if you want to mess around and play around the castle or whatever the fuck, you can do that. You can not end the day and just keep messing around, right? But it doesn't make sense here! We want explore, have fun. Hot the, the wizardry world. Also, this is... If the, if the movie came out before the game, then I'm not impressed. If this came out before the movie, which I doubt, then this did a really good rendition of the burrow. It's all clankety-looking house. 
Okay, did you ever read Harry Potter? Um, I think... I I think I read the first one, but that's it. You should read all of them, because I was going to try and quiz you on it, but you won't fucking I'm know. I'm sorry. They lived in a village named Ottery St. Catchpole. What a stupid fucking name, that's right? That's a dumb name. Eh, eh, look, you cough up some magic shit. What's wrong with him? Okay, so when I was a child, died. I was like, oh, look, I gotta get out of here. Go through the door. Physically cannot approach the door. It's like, okay, maybe I gotta, like, break some shit. I'm not gonna save the game right now. You know what? Fuck it. We'll save it. Just in case. We lose our recording or some shit. Probably for the better. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to walk around, open up like doors and shit, and you get candies and bullshit, and then you're supposed to be like, oh no, what's with this big cabinet? If you've read the book, this makes sense, because in the book you go and you hide in a cabinet, right? Uh, so you're like, oh look, a big cabinet, maybe that's where I'm supposed to hide. But if this year is your first in first introduction to Harry Potter, then you're probably like, Yeah, um... and also, Harry went and hid in the bookshelf because these two idiots showed up. In this one, you hide in the bookshelf, then they show up. Yeah. So, <sighs> whatever. I mean, it would make sense if you, like, heard voices outside that door or something. Yeah. Went to go. Also, <laughs> this book has, um, or this game has now been made non-canon by J.K. Rowling, because the cabinet Harry jumps into in the book is the vanishing cabinet that Malfoy uses in the sixth movie to send him and his, his friends into Hogwarts and get Dumbledore killed. And this is not the same. This cabinet. is well. Look, this cabinet opens up into a fucking hallway, so I don't think it's the same. No. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. When I was a child, I was an idiot and didn't understand sneaking sections. Sneaking sections in just about every single video game I ever played when I was a kid fucked me up something royal because I couldn't do them right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you to sneak up on this hand, so I got I got stuck in this game almost constantly. I got well, stuck. Does it tell you you have to sneak up on it though? Does it? Nope. Just says retrieve it. So. I got stuck at the Weasley house because I couldn't throw the stupid fucking gnomes correctly and I kept fucking that up. I got stuck there after I figured out how to throw the gnomes because I couldn't figure out how to end the day. I got stuck here because I couldn't sneak past the hand and I got snuck at a later part because I couldn't sneak past the pet shore, the I pet shop like owner. I that's more the game's fault than your fault because it doesn't tell you, it just expects you to know. I think maybe if you, the hand hurts you, it's like you have to sneak, but I didn't know what that meant. Oh. You know what? I think I do know what it meant. I think I do, do is that proper English? I think I did know what it meant. There we go. But I, I did the wrong thing. Oh. oh, good, he hit me. Yeah, see. Oh, okay. oh it just there tells you. Okay, because when I was a child, I thought I was like, oh, if you hold so this, you move you slow, know. and that's sneaking. It's not sneaking. <laughs> Charge the smoky light. Aw, yeah, boy. I'm, I'm, put, I'm pushing. It's not. Pu oh, there it goes. And then you walk through, and then you can never go back. So I hope you didn't forget anything important in there, like your wand or your wallet or your. Oh, look, he's. That's kind of cool. That's something you don't see in a lot of games anymore. Harry looks at important stuff in the environment. Oh, that is cool. I didn't notice that before. I didn't either. I'm See, it's all been worth it to come back and uh, do this over again, even though all the jokes are stale and neither of us are having any fun. Generally, this is just going to lead to a divorce. Most definitely. Who knew this was going to be the end of the channel? Hit them pots. Bust them pots. Didn't we just say... Fuck! We'd never... We'd never end the channel. We'd never end it. We We'd did never talk about. Break up. We talked about that. How? No, we talked about that when we were hanging out there today. I don't remember what oh. we said. We talked about how all things must come to an end. I was like, you know, it's weird. Someday this channel is going to end. I don't know when, but at some point in the future, this channel will end. Shake him. Give him shaken baby syndrome. Everything will end. You and me will someday not be friends. Someday, you'll die. And then I'll die. I mean, heat death of the universe. Well, I mean, I'm not going to live to see that. <laughs> Do you really think I'm... I love how you don't even try and, like, be like, Oh, no, we'll be friends forever. You're like, no, you're right. Someday we won't be friends. Someday I'm... Oh. I like those screaming Well, skulls. if I'm being honest, when we die, we can't really be friends. Well, I mean, it depends if you believe in heaven or not. Hmm. Oh, so now you're backtracking. You're like, no, I just thought we'd be friends in the afterlife. <laughs> I thought that death would be the separator, not the fact that we would just end up hating each other. Well, that's... yeah. I suppose that is... more... positive. Okay, I want to talk about this. This is a this is like a gameplay mechanic that makes no sense. You're supposed to find the treat, give it to the owl, and the owl will do something for you. Why not just have there be a switch that does this instead? Now you've made it a two-step yeah, process. Yeah, it takes of, too much time. You have to find the owl, then you have to find the treat in order to make something happen. So you have to do two things to do one thing. You could have just replaced this with a lever. And I understand I'm making fun of a children's game, but whatever. 
The music in this game is good. Thanks, Hedwig, you bloody bird. I wish I had an owl. Why? Uh, because I would eat it. Owl meat is the tenderest of meats. I've never heard that. The more endangered it is, the better the meat. Um, I feel like that's just because you like doing horrible things. How innocent. See, look, that the fucking card's not facing us. It's gonna bug you every time. It's going to bug me every time. Number look, it's Dimpha Furmage. man. Famously abducted by pixies. She wanted all pixies to be humanely destroyed. That sounds kind of third Reichish, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not saying they need to be killed because they're bad. I'm saying we need to kill them for their own good. <laughs> oh, wait, there's there's two doors. Oh, wait, only one door is real. Even though they look exactly the same. So which one's the real door? This one. Mm. This is the real door. Okay, we have ten minutes to get back where we were before, otherwise we wouldn't have done it in the same amount of time. Go, go, go! I know, keep a low profile. I'm, I'm literally in the process of sneaking, and it's trying to tell me how to sneak. I played Still this- Still that hair. Sorry. It, like, goes out and then <laughs> goes back in. You know, it's, I'm glad you mentioned it, because I, I didn't notice it. <sighs> I'm Harry Potter. I won't go in there. That door's locked. Oh. Okay. That door's locked. You know, I'm making fun of the voice actors, but they're actually not terrible in this game. I mean, all things considered, it could be worse. Why did he just jump? Why does he... You're going up the stairs. I guess there's just enough of a gap there. Because this is like a Legend of Zelda game where there's no manual jumps. It just jumps when there's, like, if you run off when a cliff. There's a ledge. Is that a fucking, like, demonic search, like, summoning circle piece of paper right there? Do you see that piece of paper? Where? Right there. Oh my gosh, there is. How to summon Satan. Cast these three easy spells. <laughs> now we're going to open up this treasure chest. And it's going to be One, facing us say this Satan, time. Satan, come here. Say, say. You gotta say. You gotta say <sighs> Satan, come here. But you just you said, say, 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 come here. I said number one. Say Satan, come here. Oh, I thought you were saying, I thought you were giving Satan the nickname Say Say. I was like, <laughs> Say Say, come here. So when I was a child, I thought that was like a horrible poison spot, and if you stood there, it would kill you. That does not happen. Yeah, that is what it looks like. Look, I got some beans. And a blueberry birdie bot better bean bo bo bo. <laughs> what? I Just hate. Just imagining saying that hurt me. <laughs> I hate blueberries. Me too. I like blueberry muffins. I also like blueberry muffins. Ooh. Or just Ooh. plain blueberries? Ooh. Blueberry muffins with like the strudel stuff. It's a gross joke. Edit that out. <laughs> I'm just gonna beep right there and you guys aren't gonna get to hear what it was. But then blueberry muffins Hold on. though. There's something we need to talk about here. So you know uh. how in the the book, like the last book or no, you know how like Harry ends up with Ginny and it's kind of weird. Yes. Because it comes out of nowhere a little it bit. It comes out of nowhere. This game, part of me thinks this game sort of predicted this. Because there's this scene that's going to happen up ahead. When we go talk to Ginny and Mrs. Weasley, where the camera holds on Ginny and Harry waves at them all like airy and like, oh. Just just watch. Okay. Tell me this. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to let them kind of yak here for a second because they're going to go. Hey, the dead today, the dead. Harry, we were so terrified, but we didn't give a shit enough to come and look for you. We were just worried. We figured that'd be enough of the explanation for your aunt and uncle. Oh, yeah, she drops all of her shit because she's a fucking dumb bitch. Would you like me, a child, to go and look for your stuff instead of your responsible parents? Also, Mr. Weasley doesn't ever show up in this, even though he was in the book. It's like, just, you guys could just get, like, a male voice. Did you just run out of time and not want to model Mr. Weasley? I was going to say, they probably just didn't have enough time to right. finish his character build. Here it comes. Here, have some money. Oh, so she didn't even give you money. She gave you your own You're money right. back. Oh, here, wait, here it is. The f <laughs> what, what is that? Why does that? Ha why? I love that he doesn't wave until they're almost all the way away, and then he's just like, "Bye." Here's the thing: I always wanted to go over there because, like, they, it, it, unlike in older games where like the edge of the world was just like an invisible wall and there was nothing past it, they Can kind of it? they kind of model some stuff back there. I mean, it's obviously nothing, but I always was like, oh, "What's back there?" Also, the music in this level is awesome. I'm gonna crank it. Crank it. There's no music playing. What the heck? Where's the music? Oh god, that's loud. It is loud. 
There's no music. Maybe it only happens in that first spot. No, it it definitely. I've played this game. Also, do you hear that static? Yeah. What Maybe the heck? emulation is just fucking up. Here's so what we're gonna do. We're gonna save. I mean, what we'll do is probably once we walk into a store and come back out, the music will work. Okay. But whatever. Anyway, we'll we'll crank it then. But look, there's something that bothers me. There's all these named places in this place that you cannot go into. I mean, that one kind of makes sense, but... What's this one? Moribunds. Can't go in there. I don't even know if that place appears in the book. Moribunds? Is it on two? There's two? There's two Moribunds. There's three! Maybe it's this whole alley. It, this whole alley. is like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna fucking do I'm gonna buy up this whole place. You can't come in. What's this one? Madam Malkin's robes for all occasions. Mad Madam Madam's Malkin. Okay, I guess that one makes sense. Oh, you you don't go into the bank. In the uh, second game on the Game Boy, you go into the bank and there's this really hard boss fight up against a knight. That's cool. It is cool. Hey, look, it's another story. You do go in that one. Oh, oh wait, there's that horrible know. creature that's in the thing. Look, its eyes moves. I didn't know that. Oh, didn't you say you couldn't find it nope. ever? Nope. I'm stupid. You can go in that one. I'm stupid. I thought I could never find it. I'm just a dumb child. Can't go in here. Florian Fortis Houston. That's a real place in the book. I would love to go to an ice cream parlor. I'd like to go to Quality Quidditch Supplies. I'd like to go to all these places. Quality what the shit? Oh, wait. No, that's the Wise Wise Acres. Okay. Wizarding equipment. Stop that right now, Harry. <sighs> okay. Sorry, bitch. Stop that. We have four minutes to get this book and go outside. Otherwise, we Oh, my gosh. We do. Look, there's Hurry the up, beast. Screen. Hurry up, screen. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Are you okay? Gub, 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 gub. We have a seizure again. How much is this book? Beast. How much is this book? Look at that dude's fucking haircut. What a weird looking freakazoid. Oh, what a freakazoid. I'd like to buy that, please. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, if knowledge contained this book, you will become mentally challenged. I thought you said he already was. Uh... Did I? Because he was starved. And oh yeah, because he was. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'd used a different. I used a different phrase back then. I believe yes, that. Yes, yes, you did. Look, we got a book. Let's read it real quick. Oh my god, this is so interesting. Oh, anthropomorphic. Wait, can we go in this door? That's a big word for children. Yes, anthropomorphic. That's five syllables. This game. Unless you name someone like Gregorovich and Ithilba. That'd be a that'd be a long name. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that. I would feel bad. We're both. I just now realized we're both wearing the worst kind of jean shorts that our respective sexes can wear. Yes. You're wearing your we're wearing mom jeans rolled up above your ankles, and I'm wearing jorts like a sixty. And I'm wearing jorts with long white socks. We both look like old. We look like old people. I know. Oh, this is something else. It's like, I lost my tape and I saw Hagrid, so it's gotta be where the alcohol's at, because he's a fucking drunk. It doesn't need to, I mean, she's right, but it, it's still kind of mean, don't you think? Yeah. Why aren't you doing it, bitch? You're her mother! Because she has to stay with Ginny, because Ginny keeps fucking up. Yeah, that's a, a fair point. But where's your dad? Why? You? Yeah, they didn't want to make a character model. Okay, this is something else that doesn't make sense. You get these sickles, right? Mm -hmm. They are currency that can only be used in this part of the game. Oh, okay, grab the other one. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, you. Yeah. And you can only use them in this shop here to buy stink pellets, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Because stink pellets. Because fun. Because ooh. Stinky. Smelly. I think yeah. maybe you can use them in the stealth section, but that's about it. Oh yeah, the music was back, and we didn't crank it. We'll crank oh, it when we go out. It. Look, this secret that we had no idea about and just yep, figured... Yep, never have seen it before. I wonder if there's a treasure chest back here. I wonder where the exact spot for the treasure chest is. Oh, it's right here. I wonder if it's got a card in it that's not facing the fucking right direction. <laughs> this game is surprisingly uh, well-crafted. And I, I'll, allow me to explain. Look, there's like... There's like stuff? There's stuff like, that doesn't technically need to be there. Yeah, it's like there's... Because it they wanted you to see it. There, there's the, like they the, wanted the environment to feel right. Yeah, it doesn't feel like this area is just cookie cuttered out, right? They've got like weird stuff. How many does it cost? Four sickles would make me ten. I only Four have sickles. two. I want some stink... I want something to make my mommy hate me. So I got these fart packages. Look, I've... I've got four sickles. I can now buy exactly some. Exactly enough for stink pellets. And then you know the problem with stink pellets? They look like a little anus. <laughs> they do. How much are stink pellets? Four sickles with baby team. And he gets pissed if you use them in here. Really? Yeah. 
He's like, don't use those in here. I want you to use them. So wait, here, let's see. To throw a stink pellet, press the appropriate button. Apart from being great fun, the stink pellets can be used to stun small magical creatures or to get you out of a sticky situation with prefects. So I guess you're supposed to use it on the, the magical um, animal shop. And then once you do that, you uh, can sneak past him easier. Look, I did it. How did Ginny get out of here? You had to push that button to make that thing go up. And where's the fireplace? There's the fireplace she came out of. Hey, look, we've done it. Oh, yeah, we did it. We, we're we at 24 minutes, and we're already just a little ways past where we're... Okay, now I'll let you play. Oh, I forgot there's a frog in that one. Hey, fuck that frog. Eat it. I'm going through that door, man. I'm going through the door. Gone! Are you? No. Okay, well, now we'll start retreading new jokes, because we'll start seeing stuff we haven't seen before. Just to be careful, I'm going to check and see if we're recording. Gotta double check. We're recording. You gotta be, you can never be too careful. Okay, let's see if the music's playing when we go outside, and I'll crank it. Here, you can have the controller now. Thank you, sir. I am not a sir. Thank you, madam. Don't call me daddy! Ah! Again, never have, never will. That is a lie. I have heard you say it. You're like... Fucking shit, daddy. And I was like, what? Yeah. Okay, hold on, shut up. Lovely. Okay, another thing. Oh, wait, they're called fire crabs in this one. Never mind. Okay, so you have to go either to the pet shop where you have to do a stealth section, or you have to go to the, 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 the leaky cauldron, yeah. which is that way. And we do that one. Oh, I just now realized that brick wall right there. That's supposed to be the brick wall you push and like it opens up a pathway. Cause that, it's, my way, people. it's the back of the leaky cauldron. Remember in the first movie he pushes the button and then like the thingy opens up. Yeah. That's what that is. Anyway, go in there. This one's not a stealth section, but there are some enemies. They're 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 crabby people. <clears throat> I don't like crabby people. They ruin my day. Uh, then how do you stand being around yourself? Um, because I can be angry. That's okay. No. Anybody else being angry is too much. No. Look, it's Haggard! Look! Go talk to him. It's Haggard! Oh. Don't hit him. Well, it wouldn't look. He's a, Okay, also, if you talk to the barkeep, he's like... You, I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh-eating slugs. Talk to the bartender, and he does this creepy there's thing. More than butterbeer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. Okay, so he tells you to go down to there because there's more than butterbeer down there, because that's where her stuff is. But go go to the right, and then go in up to the right. Go over there. Yes. See, that's Ginny's... Thing that you need right there. And he told you to go down to the cellar. No, no, no. Hit it. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's, oh. like, it's like there's more down the cellar than you know about Mr. Potter, right? So go get her thing. You fall down in a hole that's full of fire crab people. Is he trying to kill you? Probably. Okay, you want to push that Harry Potter button. What? To the left. There it is. Oh. It's got an H. Maybe it's a Hogwarts symbol. Oh, you have to press the yeah, I know, too. but sometimes it just doesn't like it. See, that closes it. And it does that, so now you won't fall the next time you go up there. But isn't That's it, creepy it is, as like, heck. It's like, there's more than uh, butterbeer down in the cellar, Mr. Potter. Go down there. You're like, okay, I'll go down there. It's got some, like, whiskey or something. And nope, it's just fire-breathing crab monsters. There's one now. So you gotta be careful, because that thing will spit fire at you. And you can only, you can't kill it, you can only knock it out for a minute. Oh, really? Yeah. And you're just trying to get through here, so don't worry about treasure chests. What are you doing? I'm trying to get that. You don't, no, ignore it. You just want to go. They're getting back up. Just go to the right. Just go to the right. Go to the right. Ah, oh, no! Just go to the right. Go to the right. To the right. All the way to the right? See the barrels? You just got to get past the barrel section. Watch out for the barrel! Oh damn. Ignore it. It's fine. Running. Running! And I think you go through that door to your left? Yes. Okay, and now... Oh! Oh my gosh. This part here is annoying. So many floors. You have to sight, yeah. Uh, go to the wall there. Not that wall. You get a sidle. Okay. You get a sidle. How do we do it? Press A. And then just wall sneak along that edge. And you gotta push that box off and then push it. I just remember this because it wasn't very fun. <laughs> the later parts of the game are fun, but they're also kind of weird and creepy. Okay. You okay, can now you stop. Just... Okay. Oh, you almost walked off the edge. Where do we push it? Just off. Really? Yeah. Oh. You're lucky it didn't break. Because you just needed to be able to climb that, that wall uh, over there. Where do we go? Off. Just off this side. Oh! oh gosh. Yeah, now you just gotta go find the box and then just push it to the wall and then climb it. Ugh. 
Look, you're next to the poison hole. There's lots of those in this terrible place. Let go. Nope. Now you just gotta walk up to it and just climb it. That's weird though, because there's just a wall behind it. That's where the poop, that's the poop wall. Uh. Now you go up there, he's like, oh my god, you're alive. I mean, I'm glad to see you again, Harry. I'm, I didn't want you to be dead. Oh. What are you doing? I was trying to grab. You know what you're doing? Huh? Wasting everyone's fucking time. That's my whole plan, okay? Well, it's a terrible plan. I'm gonna kill you for it. That's how I'm gonna rule the world. I just hit her. Oh, you had to use your light of the spell. Oh. Uh. There you go, now push on that wall. Is he like, look, I'm gonna go hide this stupid child behind my stupid fucking- Here, give me that controller. It's my turn. I gotta do the stealth deserve section. deserve no turns. That's, I get to do the stealth section, because I couldn't beat as a child. And... Hello, Hagrid. You fat fuck. More than Why did you tell me to go down there, you scary shithead? Also, he's got lip syncing, that's weird. Also, Look, it's... the funniest part is he technically didn't tell you to go down there. He's just Whoa. like, maybe he's, maybe he's warning you not to go down there. He's like, there's more than just beer down there, dumbass. Don't go down there. Look, I'm pressing buttons. The I'm weird part is, isn't that he told you about it. It's the fact that... Like, Ginny's stuff was right on top of it. And there was no fireplace for her to fall into. Uh -uh. Let's save real quick. Maybe I don't know if we're gonna- the Weasleys were plotting against you all. Oh, time. God! And they the plan only worked on their daughter. What's this dude say? I think that guy's a drunk. The best drink in the world is beer. I love it. What's she gonna say? Five time award winning Witch of Weekly's most charming smile award. And when you meet him face to face, you can see why, because he's got a great fucking mug he does. <coughs> Are you okay? Yes. But see, look, they have stuff that's modeled in there. The, the world feels well crafted. It's not just like a. It's not just a cut and paste, like, alleyway. All the witches and wizards look a little different. Yeah, they got different colors, even though they all have the same voices and say all the same bullshit and fart on each other and go Ugh. so in order to keep you from progressing they make it to where you can't break all the barrels right and then the barrels are always in the way of all these places oh. so this fuckhead in here is like get out you can't be in here we're closed and then you're supposed to sneak over push a button Didn't you hear me boy i said we're closed now go away go away and I had my dad help me on this section, and he couldn't do it, and I felt really bad, because I felt like I was like, I need my dad's help, and he couldn't do it, and I think he kind of, I don't, I don't think he actually gave a shit, but part of me was like, my dad feels bad, he couldn't help me. <laughs> he's like, go away, and I just don't go away, he's like, okay, whatever. Well, I guess you're here now. Okay. We're locking up, with you inside, or with you outside, your choice. The camera in this section is not great. We need to go over here. Gotta push the, okay, here's the thing. Even if he catches us, as long as we push that button, we will have made some progress. Okay, we just gotta avoid shitbo. Watch out for shitbo. Okay, we just did it in one try. Really? Yeah. That's all you had to do? Yeah, you just... I, I couldn't do it as a kid. I was scared. I think it's mainly because whenever you're a kid... And you're that really card is overly, facing the wrong direction. You're overly cautious. Yeah. Probably. Look, we got Tilly, Tilly Toke. Toke. She smoked weed. Probably. She toked on the weed, man. 420, man. You know what I'm saying? Weed. Can I have some weed? Who are you? Give me some weed. Look, I'm gonna make my spell red. Nintendo. And look, my wand will be red forever. Oh. Wow. This one can even blow up. Actually, the longer you hold this one, the less time it lasts, I believe. Now, even if he catches us, it doesn't matter. Because he just... Does he throw you out? Yeah. And then that's the end of Oh, where is he? There's that shit fuck. Get out of my way, shit fuck. Huh? Look, we did it perfect. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Now, how do we end this? Oh, we gotta go buy our potion. I don't remember how much. We don't have any money. Let's go get, Let's go farm for some money. You have no Look, money. did you see that? There was a wizard outside. That was, I didn't know that. They even keep little models outside, so when you're in the shop, it seems more real. That is cool. You're cool. I know. Mm. <laughs> now you're less cool because you're being cocky about it. But seriously, they give you this currency and it only works in this one part of the game, and I don't understand why. That's a lot of barrels, man. Yeah, this is the best place to farm. I remember when I was a kid, you come over here and you get like 10 sickles. 20 sickles? Holy fucking Jesus! So these are basically magical f 
Get the fuck out of my way! That's my least favorite part about these. Do I know you? Oh yes, you're the famous Harry Potter. The least famous. What a, what a jackass! That'd be like if you walked into George Clooney's like, wait, don't I recognize you from somewhere? Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy, guy. This guy claims to know my dad. It's kind of fucked up. Hey, I know your dead dad, son. Sorry. Can you move? Out of the way. There we go. I was like. Okay, so we have to go in, and you buy this potion, and then when you die, it fills you all the way up to full health. I didn't know this as a kid, because I actually rarely died. I just got stuck behind stupid invisible walls that I was like, oh, I don't know how to do. I guess this is where the game ends. I was like, well, I guess this is this is all there is to the game. I'd been nice to go to Hogwarts. Look at that, dude. He's cough, cough, coughing. Can I go in here? Probably because of all these noxious gases. Look, there's fairies up there. I also love how... Look, that one was full of farts. You're literally just hitting everything comes. You're breaking things. And he's like, yeah, so I would love to serve you. Please, come into my store. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Why am I... Why am I what capable... What does it even do? Uh, it'll tell us in a You're second here. welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Wigan World Stamina Potion and the Large Cauldron over there. Uh, when you're low on stamina, you'll automatically drink it. Oh, okay. Okay, why am I capable of getting 20 sickles if I only need 9 to beat the, beat this section? You need 9! I also love that you buy a bottle, right? Yes. That you can optionally fill with potions. Yes, and the thing is, let's just break down this fake economy a little bit more. The potions are free. The potions the bo are the, free. That's the thing. The, the, potion, bottle. the bottle's gonna cost you. Maybe there's not a lot of glass going around. Who but knows? here's the thing. That's the reverse of what you'd want. You'd want the glass to be free, the potion to be expensive. Because you can have a potion glass all you want. No potion? Who gives a shit? Uh, I burped. Here's all your shit, you dumb little bitch. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. You're... Nothing. I just got shot by a bunch of fireballs. Wow, more chocolate. Every time. She's just really trying to justify also, not feeding you. That is a huge-ass chocolate And look, at it, it's like, my, my time has come. This boy is going to consume me. Well, okay then. Thanks. He sounded so disappointed. Oh, there was no subtitles for that part, so I don't know what she said. I'm sure it's not gonna be another shot where. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stare at the bitch. Maybe they stare just the wanted to, you to see how good they did. They're like, look at Harry Potter. Why? That's cool. I just gave Michaela a knife and I told her to cut my arms off. I'm with. not gonna do that. Careful, it's really stiff so you can cut yourself with it. That's cool though. I think we're just gonna play this until we're bored because we haven't done a we haven't done a episode cut so far. Look, it's Gilderoy! I always thought that was he was a great character. Surely not. It's Harry Potter! I love how he's supposed to be famous and they have all these other wizarding models, but they didn't put any of them in this scene because Oh, I, he, he walks kinda of funny though. I think it was the camera too. The Ladies and gentlemen, all four of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys and girls. This term. I will be taking up the post Kenneth Branagh did such a good job as uh, this dude. Yeah, Gilderoy yes. Lockhart. Oh, I forgot his name. It was good. Jolly good show. Cracking good. Look, it's Draco. Look, I'm gonna come up and be a little fuckhead. Famous Harry Potter. Famous Harry Potter. Without making the front page. Leave him alone. Okay, but that doesn't make sense because in the book and the movie, someone came up and took a picture to put on the newspaper. Uh, there's no one in here taking pictures right now. No. For a month. Look at his cloak, it's fur lined. I didn't realize that. That actually looks kind of good. Okay, so this was too subtle apparently in the book and the movie. Uh, he just gives her a book. He's like, here, take this book. And then when it just starting, starts doing evil shit, she's just like, oh, that book Mr. Malfoy gave me is possessing me. Better just keep on to it. Because in the book in the book and the movie, originally he like sneaks it to her and she's like, oh, cool, a diary. And she just starts writing it. But that's too subtle for video game players, apparently. Gamers rise up. We are the oppressed group. They assume we're all idiots. Okay, also, also, Ginny just walked out of the door, right? She just And we've already somehow missed the train. What? <laughs> he comes in to, It left five minutes ago. It can't have, because Ginny wasn't on it! Shut up, Gilderoy. Yeah, nobody cares about what you're saying. Okay, here's the thing. You're with the Hogwarts teacher. Just say, hey, can you get us to, get us to school? Or, like, contact the headmaster or something? He literally just told you that he works there now. Yes! <laughs> Our only chance is maybe that's the thing. He's so unbearable that they'd rather find another way to get to school. Harry? 
Yeah, I think that's what it was. They just hate him so much. They're like, we're not riding in a car with that guy. No. Nope. He'll talk too much. But they're like, oh, God, we have to steal a car to get to school. Better than talking to that fuckhead Gilderoy. Well, then again, he would barely stop talking to even listen to them. So. Yeah. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. Also, why are, why are we meeting him? Why don't we just... Okay, here's the thing. You're already late, but he's like, okay, you got any other shit you want to do? Go do it. What are we doing? You gotta go talk to Ron. And then I think once you talk to him, it'll end the day. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Always ready. Yeah, it just ends yeah. the day. Ron, I'm really <laughs> not sure about this. We've got to get to school, haven't we? And even underage wizards are allowed to use magic if it's a real emergency. Those character models look good, but there's no lighting effects on them. I also think that's the problem with telling kid wizards. You can only use magic outside of Hogwarts if it's an emergency. But they don't really specify what the emergency is. Because it's just like, oh, I got, you know, I had a bully at school. So I that killed him. an emergency. So you, you... My mom didn't buy me pizza, so... I was starving, so I... Magicked myself a pizza from the nearby village and attracted the next. Oh, yeah, this is where you just crash. Oh no! Second car crash, they're both dead. Ah! Okay, and Ron's dead, he just fell like 500 feet. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot, they actually turned it, it into a bomb. Eye? Yeah, it is an eye and a mouth. I don't like it. Okay, so this part was really hard in the game. And the, the game boy, do you want to do it? I, I don't. Do you just want to fuck around Hogwarts? Yes. Okay. Um, so Michaela's gonna cover the walking around Hogwarts and just having fun. I'll cover the stupid levels. In the Game Boy game, <laughs> as soon as you beat the night boss and got your stuff right, you immediately were transported here. And this was another boss fight at the very end of it, and it was really hard. Oh, that's so... Oh, okay. So, like, if you didn't have all your healing potions and shit, this was especially difficult in the Game Boy version. We might play the Game Boy version if I can find a good way this to record it. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a... Here's the thing, when I got to this level as a kid, I was like, oh shit, something new! I was just excited for something, you know, not the original level. If I were a kid, this would creep me out a little bit. Uh, yeah. Especially with the whole teeth and the eyeball staring at you. Oh, Jesus! Gosh. I was trying to spank my little, my little Harry Potter ass. <laughs> and look! Oh, oh it's, it's an actual God. hand, Yeah, too. why did you do that? I didn't- I didn't see it. I was like, what's that? Oh. Oh! I wasn't prepared. Damn it! I love how you jump when you don't need to, but then... It's a Legend of Zelda problem. Because in the Legend of Zelda, there's no jump button, right? It just kind of... Yeah. Okay, so I am I, uh... Can, can't you jump? Or oh, no, I had wait. to bait it out. Okay, so... These spores are evil, so you have to hit them... And when they're gone, then you have to sneak along the wall or some shit. Huh. As he gonna, hits you off the wall. Is that wall. thing gonna... Oh, no, it just does damage. I was like, is that thing gonna hurt me? Okay, so here's something else. Later on in this level, you find a big, like, tree stump full of that stamina potion. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I'll just put that in my potion vial. It'll be great. It's like, did you just take, like, a horrible potion out of a tree stump and put it in a glass yeah, bottle to drink for later? how do you know that that's actually good? It's purple! What do you mean? I mean? The other stuff was purple, so this... It's purple! Must be the good stuff, because it's the same color, right? Because we're brain dead. Do I go over this one? Oh! Look at all the... Ow! Oh, well, they destroyed them for you. So. Spanked my little butthole. Spanked my little Harry Potter butthole. I got a lightning shaved scar on my anus now. Huh. <laughs> oh, look, the tree just tried to smush me, so now I can't go back the way I can. Oh, no, it just knocked over another tree. Oh, yeah. So this one, there are enemies, but they're also a boss in that there's going to be like five of them and you have to kill all of them. Oh, look, they're little tree people. Aww. Die! How adorable. You're adorable. I'm uh. sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh. I have to kill all of them, otherwise my mom won't reward me with candy. Mom. And damn it, mother, I want some of that candy. Delicious, yummy candy. She's not your mom. She's your mom? Your mom's dead. Oh, I killed that dude. Oh, and his mushroom made that wood explode. Okay, we're gonna save just to be safe, even though this game is bullshit. Oh! <laughs> okay. I feel like that was an appropriate reaction to, like, the amount of energy that was put into that. <laughs> it's like, let's just have this log roll a little bit. Just fuck it. Just for fun. Just to creep Ooh, look, up. we got a cauldron cake. I believe that heals us. A little bit. A piece of cauldron cake. 
Okay, this game did a weird thing in that it tainted what everything lo Oh, so it's just an excuse it's to get you not, up here. I was gonna say, it's not even, like, inconvenient. It's just... Wait, am I supposed to go over there? Oh, yeah, that's where Hedwig is. I gotta go find... See, so this is what I mean, where the, she could be replaced with the switch. I now know there's a Hedwig spot, so now I just have to find a stupid owl treat to feed her. Hedwig! Bye-bye! What was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, uh, this game kind of tainted my mind a little bit, because anytime I saw, like, thought of stuff in the book or, like, the movie after this, I always assumed it looked l how it looked in this game. So, like, when I thought of a piece of cauldron cake, it was a little piece of, like, chocolate cake with, like, pink, like, cake body, but still tasted like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Or, like, raspberry or some shit. I, I, I that don't... sounds good, though. The movie never really... I know, like, like okay, so imagine, like, a chocolate cake with, like, a raspberry-ish kind of... kind of frosting on it. I'd fucking eat it. And there's a card face in the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm never not gonna mention it, because it's no. annoying. Look, you almost got all no, of them. It. Look, we got Glanmore Glen Peaks, famous slayer of the sea serpent of Cromer. He, he looks kinda cool. That'd be kinda cool. Wizard pirates, or like, like a wizard navy, I guess. Oh wait, we don't want to go over there because those... We, we, we don't want to go over there because those things are in the way. Oh right, I forgot, there's fall damage. Fall damage? Like, sort of. Ooh. I hadn't seen it before, so I... Me neither. Uh, a banana bean sounds good. Cause here's the thing, their beans actually tasted like what they were supposed to. So, like, if you got a banana bean, it would taste like a banana. Mm. Now, would it have the same texture as a banana? Because if it didn't, it might be disgusting. I don't eat a banana-flavored bean. Mm, I don't think I would. Well, I don't really like jelly beans anyway. Look, it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> and look, we did it. Watch. Bing! Gold, gold, gold. Our health just improved. Whoa. We got Grogan Stump. Stump. Minister for Magic, not the Minister of Magic. Maybe the title changed sometime between 1800 and now. Uh, where am I going? Ah! I don't know. Oh, there's the fall name. Am I just supposed this? to talk to Hedwig? Because I didn't find a chest that had a pet treat in it. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to move ahead because there's a... Uh... Hey, bitch, what do you got for me? Yeah, we gotta find a treat, but I think it's up this way. You gotta fight some fog monsters. Fog Alright, it's fog wolves, and you kill them with your light spell. Oh. This I I believe this took me a while to figure out as a child, because I was like, look, it's a horrible wolf. What should I do? Oh my oh. god, that ghost wolf just went through me and ate my soul. It didn't damage my physical body, but it killed me in the inside. Okay, I and the fog's gone. Where's the chest with the owl tree in it? Give me a candy. Or just give me three bad ones in a row. Oh, oh. Oh, I got a pumpkin pastry. Oh, wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? Where do I... Yeah, that's... Do I not interact with... Right. Okay, I guess I just don't need anything from Hedwig here. Okay. Why is Hedwig here? Maybe... Maybe she does something... Like, maybe she's just, like, an optional, optional thing where she doesn't actually do anything unless you find it and she's not... Like, it's all just... Jesus! That one just threw a rock at me. Uh, what the heck, man? Not cool. Ooh, a spearmint. Actually, that sounds terrible. A, a spear spearmint jelly bean? Yeah, I wouldn't eat that. That'd be nasty. <gasps> you little fucker! A blackberry. A spearmint. A strawberry. How many of these shit things are there? I'm gonna go up this. Oh, that's oh. the po that's the potion I was telling you about. It's that covered you in just horrible. Steal? It's covered covered in horrible nauseous mushrooms. So I have to assume that it's just like, it's not actually a good potion for you, Harry. It's probably just straight up poison. Freaking. You little shits. Look, that one dropped a banana. That one dropped a pumpkin pasty. Pastry. Look, that one dropped a pumpkin pastry. How many of these fucking things are there? Maybe they just keep going until you leave. Mm, but they got a health bar. Oh, they do have a health bar. I didn't notice, technically. Do they stop spawning from certain holes after a while? Can we make it over there? Because there's a chest, and I kind of want whatever's in it. It's a treat for head. You know what? I bet it is. I bet that is a Hedwig treat. And then we have to go back. Nope, nope. that's a card or a... It's a uh, card facing the wrong direction. Yeah. Who'd we get? We got, um... Number seven. Hesper. Hesper Stark. Stark. Which you studied the use of Face of the Moon in potion making. She looks you know, evilish. If I know anything about potion making in Harry Potter, I know that the phases of the Moon are probably really important. Is this all optional? Can I skip all this shit? Or maybe this is where the Hedwig potion is at. I feel like you still have to go back, otherwise there'd be no point. Maybe. That, there doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. 
Can we go off in this horrible dark like part? Nope, nope. I was like, I want to go over there. I want to go through what's going on over there. I think we gotta finish killing these woodland creatures. Can oh, that doesn't hold up very well. Or... No. Look at that. It's just a like a. I hate it because it looks like you can go that way. I know, right? Death to the creatures! Death to the creatures! Where? Maybe Death! The, maybe the last one you killed drops are that. Maybe? I don't know. I'm just trying to make logic out of Where? Uh, there it is. Nope. Okay, they're okay. all dead. Well, now what? Oh, I forgot about yeah, those things. They, apparently they grow back. You fucker. The gas got me. Hold your breath, Harry. Maybe you have to go in one of these holes. <laughs> I feel like it's this hole, because I don't think we ever saw a monster come out of it. Yeah, yeah I guess you just never have to interact okay. with Hedwig. Okay. Sam, go on the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets uh, game facts and find a, the, the, the one with all the most like cool picture design on it with bells and whistles and put up what that Hedwig does, because I'm sure our viewers want to know. Also, the tree would have totally killed him there. Oh, yeah. I bet it just looks like it's just like, I'm just going to hold this little hole in my head. Oh, my God. Did you see its foot? This thing's gonna... Oh. Oh, he'd yeah, be dead. he's dead. That'd be whiplash. So I think you're supposed to piss it oh, off. Oh, Oh, my God. Good thing I got that potion. Oh, I don't... Oh. Here comes another fist. Th this camera angle's kind of kind of interesting, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I mean, look at it. It's like... It makes it look really big, because they've got, they've got the camera, if you like, kind of aiming low. Up. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, aimed up. Look, it's Hedwig. She gave me a pumpkin poo-poo. Thanks, Hedwig, for helping me now, and not when I fed you. Got to smash with the car. Oh. How would this not kill Harry in one? It's like, oh god, this tree that's capable of carrying a car just, just, just dropped the car on his head. <sighs> I want to hit it, but it's not giving me a chance to hit it. I also love that it tries you smashing you with the car, fucking... and then it sets it to the side for later. Yeah, it's like, I'll get him with the car next time. Here it comes. Kaboom! I like how every time you hit its hand, it freaks out and shakes around around here. I can imagine Ron being like, Harry, could you, could you, could you could not do that, could bud? Could you stop hitting it, please? You're just pissing it off your Harry. Ah, so Ron was Scottish. The yeah, he's, he's got red hair. He's like, oh, Harry, you're a fucking right cunt, aren't you? You come up here if they are a fucking little wound. You be, you be cussed. Oh, we crashed? Nope, we're good. You heard it first here, guys. Uh, oh, you, my God. That are, thing just threw a rock at me. If you have red hair, you're Scottish. No question. I've got red hair in my beard. You're Scottish, no question. Oh, it didn't give me a chance to hit it. Here it comes. Those are some... What the? It didn't even hit me! Bullshit. This game's pure bullshit. Okay, that, that, that time... That one hit you. Yeah. I'm not even worried about dying because I have the potion. Here comes the car. That car... I know the car's technically like half alive. That car must be pissed. Watch out, he's gonna hit you. I'll hit you. You're not. Oh, right. I forgot my own spell can hit me. <laughs> ah! Did you see that rock almost come That's back and... Huge. It just went also, right... Also, how does it keep finding, like, perfectly round rocks? Maybe it's making it out of its tree poop. Maybe they're, like, dumb rocks instead. Shit! Whoa. Can you give me a chance to hit you, please? Am I supposed to be doing something different here? Oh, there it is. Look, I killed it. I shot it in the eye. Oh, look, there's the door out. I'm glad I didn't just run and get a teacher instead of left on there. To like, Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Even though half my ribs are broken and I've got whiplash the size of fucking Timbuktu. We better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Why don't you try that door, Harry? <laughs> the one door. The one we're walking to right now. <laughs> Why don't you try that door, Harold, you little fuckwad? I imagine Ron's not very nice. Never. He's not looking forward to seeing Professor Snape. And I think they say something really mean to him. Oh my god. Hello, children. <laughs> that is not a good voice actor for him. Uh, that also doesn't look great. <laughs> also, who gets mad at someone? Like... You missed the train and there's no other way to get here. Well, I mean... Why in, are you late? <laughs> okay, being mad about them being late, yes. In the book, he's mad because he's like, You idiots, you sh you flew a flying car and revealed to the world that there's magic. 
But in this one, they don't even talk about the car wheel. Nope. They're like, how dare you be late? Out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house. It doesn't even threat to expel them. No. Nope. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know if you can lose the house cup in this game. Sam, put up the results. Can you look? Can you lose the house cup? points and shit, and then you can have points deducted. I don't know if you can win or lose, though. Hmm. Okay, you just gotta go inside. There's only, there's no sneaking at this part. There's only a tiny amount of sneaking up once you reach the Gryffindor Tower. Look at that cool stained glass window. Okay, another game that wasn't great, but I enjoyed, was the Harry Potter and the uh, Half-Blood Prince game. Glowing things. We're gonna oh. save. Oh yeah, the music in this okay, the music in the emulation doesn't work great in this art. The music will like randomly stop and restart. So if it sounds weird, that's why. But anyway, the Half Blood Prince game for this. Uh, Where are we going? That way, the Half Blood Prince game for Xbox. Mm -hmm. Not a very good game, but walking around the grounds was pretty cool because it was really big. So it felt nice. Yeah, like it was it was a movie accurate version of it too. So it just felt felt kind of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. My throat's sore. My throat's sore probably from chugging dick all night. Chugging dick. Now you just want to climb up all the way up. All the way down, you said? Yes. Okay. No, you idiot. All the way up. Look at them paintings. No. Second floor. Oh, that scared me. Charms and library. Why, if it isn't oh, it's a darkened oh. ghost! How are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Oh my god, is that actually... Did they get John Cleese to do the voice for this? Hold on, I'm gonna turn it up. Oh my god, that's, totally did. that's 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 junk. Okay, put up the IMDb saying. <laughs> do some research. That's the real John Cleese. Either that, or we just have both have really bad ears. This sounds exact. If Weird. so, that voice actor is brilliant. Yeah, that's a damn do good sound alike. Oh, yeah. Keep going all the way. You're all the way at the top. That's something, huh? That's awesome. I mean, it, it is cool. I mean, I like John Cleese. Sometimes it seems like he'll take just about any role he can, but who gives a shit? I like him. Also, don't touch that ghost, because if you walk through you, it makes you go... <sighs> really? Do you want to go find the painting? No. Yes. Okay. The painting of the fat lady. You're a fat lady. There she is. I can't also... get into the common room, Harry. Oh yeah, you don't know the password. That's right. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two... How am I to know you're not two Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because like we... <laughs> Because you've known us for a year I now. I love that he says, "Cause we don't look like gorillas." Like that's. And that's is that racist? Is is Ron from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets secretly a racist comparing yes. black people to, 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 to gorillas? Find out next time on Game Theory. Okay, this is stupid. The door opens up to a hole. And you have to crawl in a tunnel. What? Oh, and then they close the door. They just leave us. Yeah. That's great. What bird? Look, you're now in the common room. Wow. Otherwise known as Ramen Coom. That's the one. This is where all the kids come to get fu. I wonder if wizards ever played. Look, it's the Mona Lisa. I wonder if wizards. <laughs> it is. Ever play beer pong? Um. Yes, but don't go back out that hole. You gotta. I'm not going to. I'm just looking at all the pigs. I think you gotta. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the shop. Fred and George have a cool shop. Stuff. Really wow. wicked I stuff. I must go and see Where them. Are Where are they? Open that door through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password again? What's the password? Liberty Jimmy. Flippity Jimmy. Oh, there it is. Will of Will of Will of They gotta sneak past Percy, and it's not hard because all he does is there's like some bookshelves, so you just gotta sneak past him. Watch out for Percy, he's been a right cunt and won't let us go through to see our bar brothers. So yeah, oh. you see him. You just gotta wait till he's not looking in between oh. those. Okay, now go. How do I sneak? You just run. Oh, that's not very sneak-like. Oh. Shit. Okay, now if he comes around that corner, you might have to. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you get it. And you're just trying to get to that picture. Liberty, Liberty. You did it. First try. Good for you. 
First try. You're already better. I can't get yeah, the, over the fact that you're wearing mom jeans. Don't talk about my mom jeans. Mom jeans. Also, do you think they had to get like the rights because they they have the word Ford in here, right? It's the Ford Anglia they were driving. I'm curious if they had to get the rights to the word Ford to like put it in here because it's it's a trademark. Everything priced at reasonable That's rates in the question. early currency. Look it up. <laughs> but I, st I don't know if I can actually find the information for that, but if we find it, then put it up. So if you... Remember how I talked about sickles are meaningless? Because they are. You come here, and you buy this stuff with beans. But we have, like, no beans. Yeah, we have, like, two. And here's the thing. In order to buy some of the later stuff, you have to buy a bean bag from them. Because it increases the amount of beans you can carry. Once you get... Do we even have enough for anything? No. Okay. Once you get... Uh, once you get... Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's a spell, and it's completely optional, and all it does is unlock a couple things. Um, in this game, you get the broomstick. Once you get the broomstick, you can kind of wander around. You fly around the grounds. That was always the best part. You fly around the grounds with it. Uh, you just gotta go back out the way you came. Uh, you can fly around the grounds with it, and you fly through certain hoops. Wait, that way. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, when you fly the hoops, you get beans, and then you can just start racking up. You, you literally rain in beans. Now, don't worry about sneaking past him, because if he catches you, he just sends you back to the beginning. Okay. So just run. Also, I think he follows the same path every time. What an obstacle. Woo! This game is super challenging. Just Look like me. Guy. Look, it's Harry as a weird little... Is that Da Vinci? It's Da Vinci. Was Da Vinci a wizard? Uh, I think I used this song in a, in a video for that I made for school. I think I, that's weird. What? Oh, that it could shoot through the wall? Yeah. You know, I can't believe I didn't even comment on that. I think it's because the, the only part of the world, the level that's geometry is the actual, uh, like, corner, but that okay, Harry, thing next to it is just a facade. Really tired and I'm, off to bed. I'm off to bed after being ripped to shreds by that tree. I think the bleeding will go away once I've had a chance to sleep. Okay, if you want to end the day, you just gotta press the right bumper. And then, uh... There you go. End the day. That's so weird. It is weird. It's a I weird... Like it. It's a weird decision. Harry Potter. Harold! You're, you're a right cunt, you are. More like... Harry. But look, it's like... The, 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 the level design is cool. That is nice. Oh. I, I do like the way, like, the light comes through the window. Yeah! They got god rays. Look at, they just have a random, like, hanging... Uh, the world feels alive. Nice. It the, really makes you feel like you're Harry all, Potter. All the all the chests at the bed ends are different, different colors. It's nice. Yeah. Wait, go back. Was that a picture of a? Is that a picture of a soccer team right there? It is. Okay, yeah. so that's from the book. In the book, their friend Dean is a picture of a soccer team on the wall. And that's it's, so cool. That's, okay, I never noticed that. This game has a lot of weird details in it that are, like, book accurate. Okay, feel free to do whatever okay. the fuck. That's... That's awesome. I'm kind of baffled by that. Uh, uh, uh. Camera. Also, this shows how much of a fucking, like, loser I am. And it's like, oh, look Freaking at me and dork. my encyclopedic knowledge of a children's book. Morning, Ron. Fuck you, it's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get to learn how to fly. You heard right. You heard right. Did I learn how to fly? IMDB. Oh. I just, I, oh okay, just stare <laughs> at the fire here. He's like, oh, I want to burn the world. Okay, uh, yeah, Is you gotta go. Way? Yeah, that way. And you gotta go outside. Because, re oh, yeah, wait, read these? I think there's something to it. No, no, let me press A. Oh, I didn't even know you could actually read it. Uh, oh, yeah, if you find this shit, you get stuff. I never did this as a kid because I didn't know this was Potion a thing. kit bag. So if we go to the herbology greenhouses, we'll uh, we'll find it if we can. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna beat this game, but like we're, we're kind of an hour in and I like this. Nope. I know. I was just looking. No looking. I gotta look. We're an hour in and it's like I like this game and it's just it's kind of a fun game. It does seem like a good one. It's back when licensed games weren't all just terrible, just shit sucking bad. That's right, I said shit sucking, and I'll say it again. Do not. Look, it's a Slytherin. Oh, Hang out. Child. Talk to him, he should be mean to you because he's got the Slytherin. He's not saying it. Okay, well, just go outside then. Fuck him. Are we going, like, this All way? the way downstairs. Hello, little child. Hello, how are you? How are you? Hello. I think Gilderoy Lockhart is an absolute witch magnet. <laughs> absolute bitch magnet. An absolute witch magnet. No, no, down oh. the stairs. Oh, she. 
You, your internal map, like, your internal map is terrible. Yes, it is. My, uh, my external map is also terrible. I mean, like... Like, I tried to draw a map, it didn't... Oh, yeah, you gotta wait for it to come down. You try to draw a map. Yes. Oh. Hello, Nick. There he is again. It's it's our boy John Cleese. Uh, a matter of no importance. It's just that some properly decapitated pod more won't let me it join like the soundless. I think it's uh, the, if the IMDb said it was, then it was. If it wasn't, then put up the name of the sound like because he did a good job. Yeah, he did. Sorry to hear that. There's a lot of fucking Mona Lisas in this place. The yeah, there are. You know, I'm surprised they didn't sneak in pictures to the development team because that's kind of a thing. In, in a game where there's lots of pictures, a lot of times developers will just sneak in pictures of them and their family. There's a picture that just looks like Maleficent. Yeah, it does. That's so cool. And it's, isn't uh, it, isn't it Maleficent? Are, Maleficent? All of them are so different, too. Yeah. They, there's not a lot of... Until you really start looking yeah, at it. Oh, okay, some the same, of them but. are copies, but... it's a lot of differences. Nope. No? You want to go through the door. You want to go through the door. No, you, you, do you want to go fly or not? I do! I do! So properly decapitated Podmore. What a little shit he is. I, I fucking hate him. If there were one reason you'd want to be in the wizarding world, what would it be? Um, sorry. I'd want to see what weird shit I could magic do up. you gotta go outside? Yeah. I'd want to just do spells. Like just, I, That's I just, cool. I know, right? The, the stained glass? Yeah. I was gonna comment on that kid's face was That's blue, so and funny. then you brought up the stained glass, I was like, oh. Can you see it better from the top of the stairs? I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna try. Uh, yeah, I just want to do spells on shit, make it do weird shit. That's cool. This game is a little, a nice so little pretty. detail. Yeah, it is. Put up the uh, the score this game got. IGN. GameStop. Is that Ron? We ought to go outside.